Hello, this is Brett from Survival Comms, and this is part two of the repeater series. And I wanted to show you how I mounted these radios in here. Um, the MCS 2000 is a different form factor, obviously, than the MaxTrack series that this enclosure was designed for. So it was somewhat difficult to um, mount in there. I tried, you know. These are all prototype things, but I tried different brackets to bond the radios together. I tried offsets, and, and nothing really worked out that well. So what I found was, is that by taking aluminum C-channel, which you might be able to see it from up here. Two-inch aluminum C-channel is a very nice tight friction fit, and you can see that in here. And what I did was I took both of the radios and set them up for that right there. Um, and that worked out really well. Uh, it's a very good fit. And now that we've got this solved, we can move on to other things in this project. Well, we got our power cabling routed now. And boot it up here and see what happens and we have a winner well I've mounted the controller up now in this new housing instead of the old modem housing I had before um, I used my nibbler and cut that off instead of remoting the LEDs they're clearly visible and there's just no sense in Getting on the back side of that and taking that apart, I was going to use servo connectors and do each LED on that so you can separate it. And it was just, it was going to be a lot more work than what it's worth. And uh, and I mounted the DB9 and did the same thing, took my nibbler out. So this way here I can actually disassemble all of this right here without actually having to take the housing apart like I did before. Uh, I used like a little small nylon 440 uh, screws and uh, nuts is standoffs and uh, mounts to mount the controller card in here and I think it's gonna work out pretty doggone good you can see excuse me going backwards I also use my label maker here and uh, put the pin out for the DB9 on the rear and I also put the uh, functions of the different LEDs on here too as a reference uh, I think it's gonna work out pretty good uh, I'm gonna use the same cable and uh, let's put this let's put this puppy in here and uh, test the transmitter out. Okay, well I mounted the controller temporarily in here, and I've taught, tied it into the transmitter. I've decided to make to keep the microphone jack interface for the transmitter. I was going to run it into the bottom connector here, but the nice thing about this is is I can mirror, I can just unplug this right here and take the transmitter offline and take a microphone and remote it from the uh, site and use the transmitter. I can also use the transmitter as a base radio. Uh, there's there's a lot of different things I can do by just maintaining that right there. So, got the controller hooked up. I do not have the receiver interface yet. I'm going to go ahead and work on that next. Uh, so I've got the old transmitter hooked up, or the old receiver hooked up here and tied in. And let's give it a shot. Test five four three two one one two three four five. Sounds pretty good. We're getting all of our indications on the controller. We've got DTMF working and looks good. So making progress. This is Brett from Survival Comms. Till next time.